hi guys so welcome to thursday uh it's uh my last day of trading and not uh, the last day of the week to trade and as you can see i i'm currently looking at paypal i told you yesterday uh, the earnings of paypal are going to be released and i think i still have the tab open here uh where is it pypypl oh this is so this is today i think this is today let me check if uh, yesterday let me see so i told you paypal uh earnings were going to be released uh yesterday and i told you actually told the people in the group uh to check out this and try the new uh, the new concept that i shared with them uh for for this and i don't, I don't know why i can't see it but it's earnings were yesterday somewhere but uh, the thing is, PayPal actually uh, show uh, it had a very good uh, earning report for, as in as of yesterday. So uh, what you can see, what we can see from the chart here is uh, once they posted their earnings, you can see. Uh, let's switch. Uh, they pushed up. Uh, they pushed up to close at 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 this point where you know they tested an all time high. And as you can see, the pre-market, uh, the pre-market value currently is at two hundred and sixty. I can't see because of uh, this. So two hundred and sixty-eight. So uh, if you got in a buy yesterday around this price, and now we are moving towards the upside, uh, because of the good earnings that PayPal showed yesterday, and it's a very good company. You know, PayPal uh, is uh, transfers money globally, all that paraphernalia. But uh, that's not all for today. So today we had uh, interest rates, uh, Bank of England, but it's not troublesome. I told you don't expect interest rates to be changed until the year 2022. That's when we are going to be seeing uh, uh, Fed, uh, the Fed Reserve, Bank of England, Bank of Australia, Bank of Japan. All of them are geared towards uh, raising interest rates so that buyers can now uh, store their money in, in, in this uh, in, in form of currencies as, we, as they appreciate as they also try to fight inflation because as you can currently see uh, i hope as you can currently see uh the interest rate is at 0 0.25 inflation is at uh, 1.4 percent so you're losing money uh china is the only country that i'm seeing here that is is quite good so uh, in interest rate 3.85 percent inflation 0 0.20 percent in the euro side as you can see uh interest rates are at negative or at zero percent and inflation rate is at so uh, expect all these uh, findings. Expect all these to change maybe in the year in the year 2022. Uh, once they they roll out the vaccine, once they test out everything, once they you know once they align everything according to the to to how they see fit, uh, whether we, we, the economy is back to go. So I'm not saying we are we are out of the water yet, uh, out of the deep waters yet, but uh, that's a uh, small uh, understanding uh that uh, is in the market currently so as i told you in the video that i made last week oil uh, as you can see yesterday yesterday they gave out the report on on reserves uh the reserves are still down which means our uh, demand is still high uh so uh, oil is going to expect oil to continue pushing even higher but not as high as uh not with much pace but keep on holding oil if you if you bought oil uh, but also manage your risk on that uh, stocks in the European session rise today, but I don't think it's going to be a very because I think European stocks are the only stocks that haven't uh, haven't fully recovered from COVID nineteen. So I think it's UKX the the uh, one hundred. So as you can see, let me minimize. As you can see, as you can see here, all the way uh, pre COVID times. Uh, in 2019, we are not yet back to those levels. Uh, then we have the German index uh, is the only index actually to still uh, maybe have made some few significant gains. So one, uh, the investors that maybe uh, suffered all this uh, downfall uh, have not yet maybe have maybe recovered their money, but not as much. As you can see, it's just slightly above uh, last year's uh, uh pre-covid uh time so it's just there is no breakout as you can see uh in the dow jones or in the nasdaq there is no major breakout that you can say uh the 
is taking off. Uh, one is because of Brexit, two is because of the interest rates, uh, and three it's because of, uh, as you can see, I was checking out the U uh, UK construction purchasing uh, PMI, as you can see. Uh, previous was 54, now it's at 49, so it means our uh, investors are waiting for a shrinking economy. <clears> our <throat> uh, investors are, are betting on a shrinking European economy, so that's why you can see uh, these indices have not yet made up ground uh, ever since COVID times. So let's see. Let's see if... Uh, okay, where is it? I believe it's this. As you can see, also the Italian index, uh, you can see uh, also not yet made up uh, completely, uh, not yet made up where uh, losses are uh, made during uh, pre-COVID times. Uh, before COVID, not yet made uh, the gains it need it needed. But uh, with all that being said, uh, there is recovery. But I don't expect it to be a very strong recovery unless unless uh, uh, something unfolds that maybe could could show maybe earnings or maybe reports that could show people are responding to the vaccine better. Uh, the strain has been the the strain that is that was found in the UK uh, has maybe been eliminated or maybe is under very huge control. Uh, border control is, is still good. Brexit uh, does not has not affected it as much. So all those factors are going to play in, into this, uh, into the growth of the European uh, area side. So I think with that, it's just uh, paraphrasing about the markets. But please check out uh, this, the earnings. Standard Chartered. Oh, I thought I saw Standard Chartered somewhere. Sorry, it's Santander, Mexico. Uh, but uh today let me see what we have today actually ebay uh yesterday got uh, uh released its earnings so you can you can check it was positive and as you can see uh once it's positive the pre-market uh pre-market offering uh, is currently at 64 so that means as you can see uh they are they are oh where is it ebay 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 as you can see uh the earnings was good uh they expected a 2.7 billion uh, report on earnings but they actually got a 2.87 billion uh 0. Uh, 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 earnings per share of 0. 0.82 but now it's up to 0. 0.86 oh actually biogen I actually told people about biogen yesterday uh, Biogen yesterday, but as you can see, uh, their earnings are, were quite down. Uh, their earnings per share uh, was was slightly down, but they only increased uh, sl a few billion. So I don't think. Let's let's check that we cannot be assuming. As you can see, uh, the earnings were not quite good. So as you can see, uh, the slump uh, that they had yesterday during their earnings of uh, their earnings per share. So it is a very good uh, map to see, but please also don't forget some technical play, play part in this. So you might see a good reversal uh, on Biogen, but it depends. This is not like, uh, this doesn't play uh, to our hands like Forex does, but it needs a lot of earnings, you know. You might hold on to this, then you find uh, we are all the way down to 218 and lower going low because of maybe... Uh, but since it's a it's a it's a COVID time, uh, if they deal with vaccines, you, by the way, you really need to understand what uh, these companies do. As you can see, it's one volatile stock. Uh, you, you can make money, you can lose money, but uh, depending on their earnings, you can see uh, what uh, Biogen uh, has to offer. So in today's market, let's see what we have earnings. Uh, we have earnings. Let's see if there is any company that T-Mobile, uh, Unilever, uh, who who else? You can check ICE, Pandora. They are not only these are not only American. You can see they are also British companies. Ford uh, is actually uh, today. So the earnings is today. So if you type in F. Uh, you can see if the earnings are good, uh, you can see pre-market is already $11, uh, $11 per share. 
Uh, so we expect uh, if the earnings come out good, so expect a, a, a continuation of the bull run uh, on the upside. But anyway, uh, let's see what the earnings have to offer on Ford Motors. So just check uh, which which companies are here, what uh, what uh, is expected uh, of the earnings. Uh, if there if there if there is any good age. If only some of our brokers offered this, it will be one, one good. So if, if if you are lucky, if you are really really lucky, you can see the earnings of SK Telcom, SKM. As you can see, uh, the earnings per share. This is the EPS is five thousand ninety nine. So this uh, could be one bullish. As you can see, it's one volatile stock. So. If you are lucky enough, you can make some few thousands over here uh, using uh, this stock. But that is not all. You need to know if uh, if if you're holding it for the long term. But if you are just uh, buying it or selling it or for short term basis, you can use the information I've given you to make uh, to help your decision. Do your research more uh, on that so that you are not left behind. So. I just look on these companies, find the one that your your broker has good spreads, then dive in. Anyway, okay, let's see. UK uh, regulation pulled China back to see television off the air. Uh, it's just uh, biopol. Uh, it's just political war, as you can see. Where is it? Yeah, uh, revokes Chinese TV license, citing Communist Party link. Anyway. Uh, that's just how the world is moving currently. But anyway, uh, please look into this or what I've told you. Anyway, have a good day.